Hello. Oh, wrong one. Not, <laughs> not. Don't want to do the big face right away. <laughs> That's not how I stream. Hello, Russian Blue. Hello, Mobrock. I have um, I've been making a lot of a lot of goblins. I've made a small army, a small army of goblins. Just all the different goblins. And then I also made a gargoyle. So this is a slightly different, but a little gargoyle. <laughs> His little teethies are, are a little crooked, but... <laughs> My army... I want to make a red one. And then put a little, like, bobble on its head and have it be a Bokoblin from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> this is where we ended with our crab, so we'll get more colors of paint on this, and then we'll do the base. I think it's going to look really cool when it's done. How you been, Mo? Good day. Good day, Cranston. Of course I got a dog. Of course I got a dog here with me. I need to put that the dog cam like somewhere else in the room. That seems to be the spot that she likes to, to sit in. Which is funny because the vent the vent to the air conditioner is like right behind her, so maybe that's why she likes to lay there. <laughs> Busy with work? Yes, me as well. Me as well. I um I got a new job at the beginning of this year. So with a new job kind of comes a lot of learning curve. So I've been doing that since January. I'm just going to get all these paints out on my palette. Because I will likely finish this crab today. Just got to shake all these paints up since it's been a while. Since I've used a vast majority of these. I thought I had a lighter pink color. I don't think I actually have a lighter pink color. I need to grab one. Rover, hello. How are you doing? Long time no see. You're alive, I feel that. I feel that, my friend. Since I decided to actually come back and I've, I've started being a little bit more um, consistent with streaming again, I uh, reached out to my artist to get more emotes made. 
So those are in progress right now. Where is, there it is. So the, these are the sketches for those. I've got two corgi ones. So a corgi, like a hungry one, and then a pat on the head one. And then I've got a raid emote, a defend emote, a like sweating emote, a crying, sad emote, a crying laughing, a thinking emote, a salute. This one's a salute. And then this one is just like, like, oh my gosh, shiny or like kawaii, like cute. So hopefully my artist get, gets back to me soon with the, the colored in versions. They will work as stickers too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I make my own stickers now. So I can have more of a variety of stickers to give away too, since I make them myself. So it's way cheaper because I can just make them. Yeah. I do have that one, um, like the emote wheel sticker. Um, maybe I'll make a second one of that. Although I don't think I have the like, file that I used for that one anymore. So it might be harder to get the new emotes in there. But either way, I'm excited. I'm very excited for new emotes. I've been thinking about it for a while because Twitch added, like since I stopped streaming, Twitch added like a lot of emote slots like like too many like how many can i have um where do i even see that content no settings view rewards emotes literally 110 you can have 110 standard emotes now <laughs> that's insane ah uh. And 90 animated. Like, there's in no world can I afford 110 standard emotes and 90 animated emotes. Like, that's not, that's too, I don't even know what I would, I don't even know what emotes I would put. Like, I don't know. But that's okay. Because we're just going to get these other 10. <laughs> and then we'll figure out other ones later. I know there's a lot of, like, free emotes out there that I could use for my channel. Maybe I'll start making emotes of, like, the stickers that James draws of all of the little crochet creatures that I make. That'll fill up the slots. Cheek. <laughs> Paying an artist for custom emotes is very expensive, though. So it's like one of those things where it's like, which ones do I actually want? Because this is going to get a little bit expensive if I, if I try to get 110 emotes. They're like a little under, a little, sorry, not a little under, a little over $10 each. So it's like, that's, that's like a thousand, three hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm not spending a thousand dollars on emotes. <laughs> Just for regular ones. That's too much money. My income is not disposable in that way. How's everyone's Tuesday? Oh, hoi. 
my uh, dad reached out today and said um, him and a bunch of the family are going to be going on a a cruise next year over my birthday and uh, he was like everyone should come and I was like oh man going on a cruise for my birthday next year that would be awesome I would just need to find someone that I trust to uh, you know take care of the doggies and with Appa's chemo meds that he has to take every day it makes it a little bit harder because you have to literally wear gloves when you give him his medicine. You can't touch the pills. And then you have to be careful as well with his poop. You're supposed to take it out right away because it's got chemo medicine in it. So I'm just like, I need to find someone that has experience with dogs that have cancer. I started a huge painting project yesterday, painting an entire Oathsworn game. I don't know how many minis is that. How many minis is that? Clavicus. You paint way more than I do though, so I feel like you can probably get it done pretty quick, regardless of how many minis it is. My week has been okay. I'm just waiting for some stuff to get approved at work and it's taking forever and it makes me frustrated when I have to wait for stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> Not even a hundred, but the scale is like 50 to 75 millimeters. Ooh. Is that a commission? Or are you just doing that for yourself? I'm very curious to know. Plus the terrain. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a commission. Okay. Can I ask you? how much you're charging for this commission. When I painted the 100 tiny, like normal scale miniatures for my friend, not enough. I charged, how much did I charge? I think I charged like 1300. I'm trying to remember now. I don't remember. I think it was like 1300. I charged for the materials, which was like 300 bucks. And then I think I charged $10 a mini, which is not a lot. They were really simple minis though. So 13 a mini is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, they were little too and they were on the simpler side. So it was like yeah. Nice friend discount. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I probably could have got like $3,000 and he probably would have paid it too. Like, but I wasn't going to do that. I, it was also when I was kind of like still newer to painting and I was kind of not, uh, insanely confident in my skills yet. So it's pretty close to that. I'll post some of the chonky boys on the discord. Yes, please do. I'm very curious to see um how big some of these minis are because it was a hundred minis that i did but they were they were all the same i just painted them in four different um color schemes so they were 25 each color scheme that i did <laughs> and technically the color schemes of the the characters that i painted were not I, like I added more because I was like the table's gonna look boring if they're all exactly the same color so Yeah But I still have like the the spray paint from that and it took me seven months to finish that commission That's how I bought this camera The camera that looks at my hands. 
I took the money from that commission and I bought this camera for my stream. This is like a, I think it was like a thousand dollar camera at the time or something. And I was like, cool, I did this really awesome commission. I can spend some money on a camera for myself. Osworn is a boss battle game. The monsters are in mystery boxes. Going to paint them in the order they're numbered in. Oh. Am I opening commissions? Probably not. Commissions stress me out. <laughs> I've never done commissions. I, I used to do a lot of... Um, like, I would paint everything for everyone else. And even, like, to this day, I don't really have a lot of miniatures. Because I used to just give them all away. <laughs> I feel like I could open commissions, but I feel like if I were, it would probably... It would sap the fun out of painting for me more than if I didn't. I do have things that I want to, like, potentially eventually sell. Like, I think what I would rather do is I would rather, like, paint stuff that I want to paint and then just sell it and not, you know, have, like, a, a set of I have to paint this by this time and, like, I feel like I have to not let the person down that I'm painting for so I'm gonna do my absolute best to, like, make sure it looks amazing because that's, like, the kind of person that I am, too is like i want to make sure that if i'm painting something for somebody that it looks as perfect as i can make it you know and that puts a lot of stress on me too when i'm just painting for myself or if i'm just like painting something i want i think i have less of that i've done a sum total of two commissions um the second one uh, the, honestly i didn't want to do either of them but i did them because like the people that asked were like ah don't worry about it like it's all good like take as much time as you need blah 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 and so i was like okay 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 and then i felt bad because the second commission that i took it was just a a regular a regular scale like person and i was painting it and the hand fell off or like the hand wasn't connected and it fell and i searched for that freaking hand for so long and I could not find it. And I was going to order another one and it was gonna come from Europe or something because that's where he had gotten the, that's where he got the, the mini from. And I was on my like first date with James. This was literally like four years ago. Um, and I'm going through my, my phone case. Like I have, I've always had this kind of case where it's like a, like a wallet case. And like, I open up something, like the zipper part or something, and I'm looking, and the freaking hand was in there. It was literally in my phone case. And I was just like, how, how? Um, and then anyway, and then I, and then I finished it and then I sent it. But yeah, I was just like, how, how did it fall in there? I can imagine the stress of a commission where you're doing 100 models. Yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot, Mike. Selling work that you want to do has to be much more satisfying. I agree. I agree. Which is why I, like, have started crocheting little creatures and stuff. Because, honestly, this to me is so much fun. Um, I mean, look at their, look at their derpy faces. Like, they're so cute. Most of my work is minis that I wanted to paint. Paint whenever you like and sell on eBay. Exactly. Hi, painting Greg's. <laughs> paint all the things. 
you also have more control. Exactly, exactly. So I do have some minis that I was like, eventually I'll put them on my store, and if people want to buy them, I'll I'll do like a announcement somewhere on my socials, and then people can come in and like buy. Because I know that there are people out there that like have wanted a miniature painted by me for a long time, uh, and they just don't have one. And I want to satisfy those people. Like, I want to give people minis, but I don't want it to be at the cost of, like, my passion for painting, you know? You have one? Which one? Which one do you have, Clavicus? What, what, um, what one did you get? Do you have more than one, actually? I feel like you've been here for so long that it's possible you've won more than one. Just one painted by you, one one other giveaways. Okay. She's a barbarian type with an axe. Does she have green hair? I was looking at that many the other day, looking at pictures of that many the other day, if it's that one. I was looking through all my pictures of my minis the other day because I was like, um, looking for ones to like show, show folks that I've painted. And I saw that one and I was like, man! Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. There was there was a barbarian that I had done and she had green hair. And it was like the best painted hair that I'd ever done. Like the shading was so good. Maybe it was a different one. I'm trying to think of what other barbarian with an axe. that I've painted. I don't remember. I've painted a decent amount of minis and given them all away. <laughs> uh, that was part of like my issue is I would just like give so many of my minis away. It's like, ugh. I don't have much to show for all of the work that I had done on my minis because I used to give them away so much. That's okay. I need to look at like corals. Corals.
horrible. Let's see. Look at other pictures up. We got pinks and purples and blues and yellows and oranges and greens. All the colors I'm painting them. Oh, green. That's pretty. I want to try to do like a watery effect on the base too. I need to look and see what I have. I might just use regular paint and then just use like a gloss varnish and then cross my fingers that that works. Because the water effects from Vallejo that I have suck. And I don't think I have any like, oh no, I do have resin. I do have resin. Hi, Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, how you doing? I do actually have resin, but I don't know if I want to use it. <laughs> I guess we can decide later. I'm doing doing good. Yeah. I'm trying to be more consistent as a streamer in general. There might be some days where I do stuff that's not just painting. But I need to just get used to being in this room in general. Because I have a whole room dedicated to hobby stuff. And I haven't used it very much in the last year. <laughs> Crabby boy. Yeah, I was showing everybody earlier. Hold on, let me just get the last, last green on this. Get on there, you. I was showing folks Mr. Crabbutt. Um, but I'm making like an entire army of little goblins. Little goblins! I got so many. So many little goblins. I was gonna reach out to John uh, and see if he would be interested in taking some of these for the, um, <laughs> Bloblins! Um, for the table for Reaper for like the tickets or the Reaper Bucks table. You know how you can buy stuff at ReaperCon. So I might do that. And then I have this little gargoyle that I, I did. He's a little derpy, so I haven't posted a picture of him yet. And I, I didn't get the tail. He needs to have a little tail. Um, but this little gargoyle. And then there's others. There's other things that I want to make. There's a griffin that I want to do and a phoenix as well, but I didn't have the colors of yarn that I wanted for them, so I'm waiting for an order of yarn to come in so I can have the right colors. And there's this other thing that I've been doing that I found yesterday, and it's a little health potion. So there's a little health potion. And what I was thinking, and I, I have an order out for some little vials, is to not attach the top all the way so have the top be like half attached here and have it be able to flip up and then inside of it a vial of d4s so that you could use this you could take it with you and have it as like a health potion um and actually roll your dice with it i don't know if i'm gonna do that yet i'm gonna i don't know if it's gonna work or not yet 
Um, but I, I was thinking about other, like, um, you know, fantasy patterns that I could do. And I, I was like, health potion. Oh my god. I can make potions of any kind. And then just include, like, a vial of any generic dice, too. Um, like, I can do a poison potion and then write the rules for the poison on it or something. I don't know. But I had this idea yesterday, and I have some vials coming tomorrow, and I measured everything out. Like, I measured the, t the width of the top and the length of it and everything else. Um, and so, yeah. Can you crochet a hoop or a ring on the side? Yeah, definitely could. Like, as, like, a handle? Or, like, to keep it on, like, a keychain? But, yes, I can easily, I can easily add, like, a, a ring on it. Bit big for a keychain, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Argonauts, I saw your question, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't take commissions right now. Um, we were actually just talking about that. Um, I don't take commissions at the moment. I've thought about it a lot. I've taken like a total of two commissions um, total. Uh, but I don't really like sell my painted stuff. I do want to sell my painted stuff. Um, I just need to figure out how to do that in a way that doesn't burn me out from the craft. Finger hoop near the top like in a jug. Oh, yeah, you. I could absolutely do that. It would be a nice place to hang your computer. Yeah, I mean, all I would do is I would probably, like right here, honestly, probably like right here, I could just um, add in a few chain stitches and then stitch it in it would be super easy to do that. It would take like, I don't know, 30 seconds to do. It would be super easy. But yes, absolutely could do that. I'd love to have one of your painted stuff. I'm surprised you don't actually, Dr. Bob. <laughs> You've been here for a very, very long time too. I'm surprised you weren't one of the one of the winners from like my my pick your poison or or my um monsters monthly you know the old school the old school things that we used to do in terms of giveaways hello bud <laughs> cora left and now op is going to take her spot <laughs> you got unpainted stuff only mm yeah, I was talking about it. Like, if I do ever, um, if I do ever do a drop of like a painted miniature of myself, it, it would be on my store. Um, and I would probably post it on my socials beforehand because it wouldn't be like, it would probably only be a, like a couple of things at a time. Um, so it would kind of be like first come, first serve type situation. But I do want to make it so that more folks can get painted stuff from me. I feel like I'm just so obsessive <laughs> when it comes to the things that I paint <laughs> that I struggle to to be okay with it not looking like perfect. That's part of the problem is like the stuff that I paint has to look perfect otherwise I get um, anxious about it. And I'm trying to get over that. But that's why I haven't taken commissions, really. Because it's like the amount of stress that I feel from having to paint someone something for someone that they're paying for it. It's so much stress. Just not lucky or in the right place at the right time. I have unpainted stuff, though. Ah, okay. Yeah, I feel like I've done a lot of... I, I've done significantly more giveaways of just minis in general than painted minis. Ooh, 
I need a red. Of course, Appa just decided to come and lay on my feet. The second that I need a different color. I'm just walking around you, bud. You can stay right there. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I hold the painted stuff from my fellow Reaperites in high regard. My most cherished piece is Ed painted. Aw. Oh my gosh, Varl! Thank you for the 500 bits! So rare to get to see you anymore due to work! Oh! Well, I also... I kind of didn't stream for like... Six months? Seven months? So it probably wasn't you. It was probably me. <laughs> but I have been okay. I started a new job in January. Um, the end of the year last year and the beginning of the year this year has been had been very, very stressful. So I kind of fell off of streaming a little bit. But I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to be more consistent again. Um, I hope you're doing well. That needs to be shaken so much more. But yeah, we're painting this giant crab. We're talking about commissions. We're talking about um, crafting little crocheted creatures. And the different, you know, kinds of things that I've been making. Little, little creatures. And ideas for other stuff that I can craft, like little potion bottles with vials inside of them that have dice and things like that. So I've just been, you know, flexing my crafty muscles in, in other ways than painting lately. But we're painting, we're going to try to finish this crab today. He's coming out a lot better than I initially had, had thought it was going to, to be honest. When I, when I looked at how I wanted to paint it, it was a little bit daunting. Yes, so <laughs> part of the reason why I didn't stream for so long was because I moved my room around. So where my desk is sitting now, um, from here, my desk used to be on this wall over there where this window is, bringing in all this light. I moved it here because, and I moved, I removed um, the massive amount of tools that I had for the lights to hang down because it was annoying essentially having an entire wall dedicated to my desk when it did not need to be solely because of the lights. Because of the way that I had the lights, I really should have taken before and after pictures, but I didn't. I had two very um, large like poles on the side of my each either side of my desk that had two poles going across at the top of it to hang my lights on so that everything would be not touching my desk and not touching the floor directly um, so that if I were to hit my desk or whatever it wouldn't shake anyway I didn't need to do that so I moved my desk, I have so much more space, so my paints are now all over on this side, which, let me turn, you can see them here, and then here, um, and then I added this, like, center thing with all of my, the boxes in it with, for storage, and then behind me, um, I removed an entire shelf of minis that I had, so there's two shelves, right? This shelf was, both of the shelves were filled with minis. I just had them all displayed, like all the unpainted ones were just out. So I combined a lot of the painted ones into boxes, and then I added an, the entire shelf over here of yarn, because I got back into crocheting. Um, 
So my entire like setup is different. And I got a new computer. When I got a new job, I was like, I got a bonus, a starting bonus. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself and get a new computer because my computer is eight years old. Um, it's not gonna support Windows by the middle of next year because it's like the motherboard is so old, I can't. Anyway, I got a new computer. When I got a new computer, my entire stream, like my, um, my, sources on my stream were all messed up so i had to essentially redo everything related to the stream i had to redo the desk setup i had to redo where the lights were i had to redo the camera i had to redo my microphone i had to redo all of my like stream settings and everything else my stream deck cleared itself like oh my god all of that was gone um literally everything i still have zero commands <laughs> because um i just never reset the commands back up because i lost all my commands as well i don't know how this happened i don't know how everything was wiped when i got a new computer but literally everything was wiped so every time i would sit down to start streaming i would notice something else was broken and i would get frustrated and i would be like well i'm not gonna do it now <laughs> So finally, I got to the point where like things were set up enough again. And then I sat down and actually started painting and streaming again. So we're here. We're here. We're alive. We're doing it. Everything's fine. We got there. It took us seven months, but we got there. Yes, I am glad that I figured it all out, too. It was a giant pain. I'll say that. It was massive pain in the butt. But we did it. Hi, yay, yay. Man, coral is so cool. I'm just looking at a bunch of pictures of coral now. There's so many. You like this mini? Yeah, this mini is from a Kickstarter that was called uh, Primal the Awakening. It's essentially like a... Uh, you fight giant monsters, like Monster Hunter, if you are familiar with Monster Hunter. It's from, from that Kickstarter. This green is very, very watery. Why are you so watery, green? Yeah, it's kind of like a knockoff Monster Hunter. I'm, I'm actually nervous about the next Bones shipment because I don't have space. Like, I don't know if you saw when I had moved the camera over, but like, oh, you can't see it. There's too much stuff in the way. Those are the boxes right there of the Primal, the Awakening. Like it's literally in front of a bunch of my paints <laughs> because there's no space behind me. You can't see it, but all of my minis and stuff are behind this billboard or this um, whiteboard. I have no more space for miniatures. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. We'll find a way. I don't know how it's going to work, but... Argonauts, I do play D&D. I play every week um, with my group. My my group right now, we are playing Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We've been playing for like three years now or something, I think. Time to destroy a wall or two to create more space. Yeah. I've, I've started just going vertical. Um, I've just started being like, okay, well, we're going to take up as much space in this room as I can with shelves so that I can continue to get more stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. I try to keep the room as open as possible, which you can see there's a giant space in front of Cora. 
The Dungeon the Mad Mage campaign I was playing in died out. Yeah, we've been playing forever. It feels like forever, at least. I see them. I'm so nervous about Bone 6 minis. I have way less space than you. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm just kind of like... I want to actually start painting some of these minis. <laughs> but, again, perfectionist when I'm painting, which makes it hard to actually, like, sit down and paint stuff, because even just a regular scale mini, like a, a human, I take way too long painting because I want to paint them perfectly and that means that I have thousands upon thousands of hours worth of minis to paint because I don't know how to speed paint. Speed, speed painting doesn't exist in, in my world. Um, I should probably learn how, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So, like, even this mini is large compared to what I normally paint. I can hear Appa underneath my feet panting. But it'll be okay. I literally do not remember what I ordered in Bone 6. I think... I don't think I ordered one of everything this time. <laughs> Maybe I still did. I need to go and check the pledge manager, because I do not remember. Does anyone know when they're going to start shipping? I know they got the last container. Last week, I think. You need to stop by hijinks. You learn how to paste, paint stuff faster or else. I have done the the paint and take ones or the like, oh, I forget what it's called. The Simon says, Sophie says, I did that one one year. I should have more time this year to do hobby hijinks and stuff. Last I heard they had three containers arrive not sure if more are coming uh i watched the reaper live last week and ron said the last container was sh supposed to arrive the next day i don't know if it actually did but i know it was supposed to i ordered everything they posted an update they have to wait until the new warehouse is open to have space to ship oh they already shipped 2k orders working on bulk now to try to get the shipping moved up to the new building i see I sit and try to plan out color scheme. I probably ordered too much of Bone 6. I think I got two lighthouses. Ah! All the stock is in. They just can't ship stuff. Okay. Gotcha. Well, to be honest, I am in no rush, seeing as I've painted literally zero of Bones 5. <laughs> literally zero of bones five it's still there and honestly i think i've only painted like two or three things out of bones four so like yeah you know i got lots of stuff i got lots of stuff that i can paint it's just gonna take me a while to actually paint it Small orders are going. The people who can't not have everything orders are waiting in the wings. <laughs> yeah, I think mine is still uh, considered a larger order. I should look at my pledge manager and actually see what I got. Because I've been trying to do the thing where it's like, Holly, only, only buy the things that you want. Like, only buy the things that you know that you want for sure. Not one of everything because of FOMO. You know, um, like I did with Bones 5. 
Like, I still have, like, freaking three Sophie Sophie's Revenges that are just in boxes because what the heck am I going to do with them? I'm actually really curious. I'm going to look at my pledge manager. Reaper. I need to actually bring... I need to actually bring out my my keyboard to do this. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Crab. You're going to have to move for just a moment. Pledge manager. Let's check. Oh, invalid email. Why? Why? Oh my god. This happens every time. So, Phaser Revenge was an investment. <laughs> oh, you like my keyboard? Yes, this is my Kiki's delivery service. Um, I love this keyboard. This is a, an amazing keyboard. Look at that. Dare to be different. It's dirty. But it's cool. It's also got, like, lights on the sides right here. You can't really see them. Anyway. I keep forgetting that when they run on their Bones campaign that those I don't get will eventually be in the store. Yeah, it could take a really long time, though. Every time, <laughs> every time I, no, wait, I can't see it. Okay, hold on. B six dot reaper mini dot com. Okay. How? Wait, but, but how? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Order history, okay. I'm glad that I didn't open this on my stream because it's just got my address just right there. Um, I got the Storm Giant Queen. I did get the lighthouse. Why did I get the lighthouse? This is the FOMO. This is the FOMO. I know I'm never going to paint this damn lighthouse, but Holly, are you going to be at Gen Con? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Dio. I didn't see your, your message. I was trying to reset my password. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to be at Gen Con, unfortunately. I think, is Gen Con the same days as ReaperCon as well? I'm sorry, I'm a stinky doo doo head. <laughs> um, what did the Q do to you? I just always, I just always, wait, what did the Q do to me? What? Are you talking about this Q? Is it because it's half blue? It's just part of the keyboard. Um, oh, Gen Con is next week. No, I definitely won't be there then. The escape key is a coffee cup. Yep. <laughs> this is, it's all Kiki's delivery service. Anyway, uh, Storm Giant Queen, The Lighthouse, The 30th Anniversary Dragon, Legendary Tales, Talons of Winterfall, Char, Charndar the Cruel, uh, I got the Pathfinder Chibi Goblins, I got the Chibi Heroes, Lost Tombs of Hakkar, Denizens of the Dungeon. Uh -huh. 
excuse me, uh, Briarwood Vale, that one I'm looking forward to. That's the fairy dragon, I think. At least that's the picture that's on there. Uh, Shadows of Solenhall, Green Griffin, and the Corset. So. That was still 500 bucks. That was still $530. So I don't think I got one of everything this time. I think there was significantly more stuff. But that is what I, that is what I got. Still enough that I don't think that I will be able to, <laughs> to paint it all. <laughs> Anytime soon. I had a pizza for dinner, uh, like a keto pizza for dinner. So my, my burps are forming. Hi, Beal. Yes, the lighthouse is cool. I mean, I'm not, you know, terribly sad that I ordered it. I am kind of just like, why do I keep doing this to myself, though? Because <laughs> now I'm going to want to paint it. Although I guess painting a lighthouse is actually not super difficult. It's just a lot of dry brushing. Raccoon, hello. Gen Con. I do want to go to more conventions. The only problem is with Appa now, like James is having to stay home because I haven't found somebody that can give him his his chemo that I like trust to take care of him. And now that he has to take chemo every day, it kind of just makes it a little bit more difficult to travel. And I'm not going to lie, places up here to board your dogs freaking suck. They just, they suck. When I used to travel for work all the time, and just for personal too. When I used to travel, um, there was a place that I used to board the dogs and it was so much better. Like it was daycare during the day and then boarding at night. And it was just amazing. Like the people would take such good care of them and they would send pictures and they would post pictures on their like uh, Instagram and stuff. And you could tell that the dogs were like very well taken care of every single day. But places up here, if you board your dogs, you have to pay extra for them to even get like walks or to get cuddle time, or to get played with. Like you have to pay so much, so much extra I need to, yeah, I need to figure out how to get these bots from posting. I need to, like, I wonder if there's, like, a banned words or banned phrases. Because it's, like, cheap viewers or, like, viewers. I feel like the word viewers should just be banned in the chat. <laughs> followers only mode 10 minutes is that making it so that people that are followers can chat oh shoot no i touched the barnacle with the blue get off okay it's mostly off Okay, we did it. We did it, folks. It's okay. If you accidentally touch a mini with paint, for the most part, you can get it all, get the paint all off with enough water 
and with light pressure. <laughs> Basically only people who followed you for more than 10 minutes can shot. Ah, I see. I feel like being a smaller streamer, that makes it harder for some people, but it probably is a good idea to, to do that. And you want to know what's crazy? How many people do I have in here? I have 19 people viewing me right now. That's like the top 2% of Twitch. Isn't that insane? I feel like James is making parrot sounds. What is he doing? Uh, crazy i was crazy once yeah it's just insane because there's a lot of people out there that look at viewership on twitch and they're like oh my god i only have i only have three viewers and it's like you realize that you're probably in like the top like 30 percent of twitch with three average viewers a vast majority of people streaming on twitch are literally streaming to themselves Which is insane. But yeah, with the 21 viewers that I have right now, that's the top 2% of Twitch. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's so many people out there that stream. I try to think about that from time to time when I'm like down on myself or whatever. Because it's like, oh my god, I don't have enough viewers. And it's like, no, you you have plenty. And to be honest, I'd rather have a low amount of quality viewers, like you folks, than a high amount of viewers that, like, hate me or, or just want to talk crap about me the whole time while I'm streaming. And I feel like that's a lot of viewership on Twitch, too. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. That is how it, that is how it is. I got um it wasn't last year. It was the year before when I was a little bit more consistent, but like the end of year Twitch um breakdown thing, like Twitch will send you <coughs> There you go. That's for that's for uh Dr. Bob. Um they send you like a um <laughs> they send you a, a thing that's like, oh, an overview of your year or whatever. And it's like, haha, you're 20% or, or you're, you're top 2%. I got an eight and a seven. That's pretty decent. Have any of you done the, the Sprite challenge? Where you just like chug Sprite as quickly as you can? My little sister and I send each other TikToks of that whenever we find them because they're the funniest. They're like the funniest thing ever to me. I don't know why. I just think burping is hilarious. I feel like I should do the Sprite challenge. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to chug Sprite as quickly as possible. Unless you're trying to make yourself burp. My favorite one is the is the girl that's like, "My tummy hurts." And then and then she just lays one and it sound like lets one out and it sounds like a demon it sounds like a demon is escaping her does mr crab only have uh two legs yeah it actually does it's got it's two legs and then the 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 claws this thing must be powerful these legs these tiny little legs must be very strong yes she moans and releases a demon next to her bestie exactly it's so funny <laughs> I haven't had Sprite since the mid-80s. I like to have Sprite when I'm not feeling good. Like, when I'm feeling sick. For some reason, when I was growing up, that was, like, 
like buttered toast and Sprite were like the comfort foods, comfort food and drink that my mom would give us. So I see, I see Sprite now as like something to drink when you're sick. Yeah, cheap viewers. Yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. Is there a way in like moderation settings to ban the, the words or the phrase like cheap viewers? And, be and best viewers as well. Seven Up does that for me. A cheap form of Elka Seltzer, yeah. <laughs> How did you add that? Where is that? Is it in like a moderation thing? You know how to use Twitch better than I do, Bill. Auto mod settings? Okay. I'd have to, I'd have to, like, try to find where that's at, because I have no idea. <laughs> Moderation block terms and phrases. Okay. I'll have to look and see where that is. It's funny because I'm like moderators for other people's channels and I have no idea how to actually moderate. <laughs> I feel like with smaller streams, it's just like your mods are just your buddies and you just like cross mod each other's channels. Unfortunately, if you add the link shorteners they use to the block words list, Twitch fails to block it. Oh, I just did the clicky clicky on menu items until I... F oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take a look again after. I need to get all my commands and stuff set up again because I still haven't. <clears throat> I'm dying right now. I had to watch the sprite burp again. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny. Spark minis. I thought you were already following. But anyway, thanks for the follow, Spark minis. <laughs> I like how Twitch added it so that the goal for followers actually updates with it real time. Because it used to be that I had to add it in manually and then before every stream, I would have to look to see if I had gotten any new followers outside of the stream, and then I would have to edit the number. Oh, my tongue hurts. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that video is so funny. That's one of my favorites. I think my all-time favorite at least as of the moment right now though, is there's a video of, I think it's an Australian Shepherd or some, some similar type dog. And it has a cicada in its mouth. And the lady, like the, the owner is like, what do you have? And you just hear it like buzzing lightly. And then she's like, what do you have in your mouth? And then she like lifts the dog's like lips up and it gets so loud. <laughs> And the dog is just like chilling. It's real that that one's really funny. Just like dog wants to feel the buzz buzz of the cicada in its mouth. He's too funny. It's a great one. I thought the Guinness Guinness Sheepdog contest was pretty good. What is what's that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 
You'll have to... You'll have to send me that one. I love watching goofy videos, especially if it's goofy videos of pets. Because I am a very big animal lover. I love animals. Hurting people, getting off work, past various temptations in an open field to finally get to the bar with Guinness. I don't think I've seen that one. You're gonna have to send me that one. No, I touched the barnacle again. I touched the barnacle with the pink. Okay. Well, we have some some uh, more folks in here, so I'll show. I'm gonna show some things off again really quick. So first things first. Let me go back and find them. First things first, we've got some new emotes in the works uh, because, you know, when I started streaming versus now, they've opened so many more emote slots. So these are 10 more emotes that I'm going to have. Um, I've got a, a corgi, like a hungry corgi, because my, my corgis are always hungry. I've got a head pat corgi. I have a raid emote, a defend one, a sweating one. Uh, a like crying sad one, a crying laughing, a thinking emote, a salute, and then like a shiny, cute kawaii. But yeah, those are my, those are my minis in progress. These look fun, yeah! And then for those of you uh, who haven't already seen them or are unawares, I like to crochet as well, so I have a, an army of goblins um that i'm i'm i've been crocheting all of these goblins and i'm gonna have different colors i want to do i have like a bunch of different colors that i want to do of these i've got like another shade of yellow ish um and some more shades of green and then i have ugh, get back over there you get 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 i have this little gargoyle that just needs a tail um there's yarn on the way so that I can create a little griffin and a little phoenix. Um, and then I also had this idea of creating po a potion bottle. So right now this is just a potion bottle. It's just all squishy. But I had the idea of making it so that it doesn't connect all the way on the top. So it only connects like halfway on the top. And you can flip this off. And on the inside there will be a tube that you can have dice in. So it'll be literally like a potion where you can have your dice for rolling your, your healing potion for your for your games. So that's one idea. Um, I literally just had this idea yesterday, so I've created a couple of these to test the pattern. Um, and yeah, and other things too, like I can do poison, I can just do general dice or whatever. So. That is gonna be cool. I get the tubes on Friday, so maybe I'll stream that. Um, and maybe I'll stream, if I get the yarn in on before Friday, maybe I'll stream me trying out the patterns for um, the other stuff. Yes, my favorite is still the rigged emo. I use it almost every Reaper Live. I'm glad, I'm glad. I literally got it for that reason. <laughs> Would love to stick around, but I'm sick. Oh, Bill, I hope you feel better. How about a little holly monster? Oh man, how would I do a little holly monster? I'll th I'll think about it. I'll think about how I would um how I would uh crochet that because these patterns all are like I paid for the patterns, so I would essentially have to like write my own pattern to make a little holly monster. But it's it's honestly it's not impossible. Um. It, it would just take some some time and thought of how I would want to do it because she'd obviously have to have the horns she'd have to have like the little the little berries to be able to tell what she is you know take my money when you create it all right I'll, I'll think about it I can honestly probably like take this pattern 
and edit it in a way to make it work. I'll just have to think about how to do it because I've I've never written my own patterns before. I've only crocheted patterns that already exist. So that would be a challenge for me. But I'm sure I could probably do it. And then you would truly have a one of a kind thing because I probably wouldn't sell the pattern. I'm sure there's tiefling patterns out there that I could probably modify. Easy enough. I'll have to take a look. I I did not even think about making a little a little monster crochet plushie. Which is funny because she's my character, so you would think <laughs> you would think that I would. But I was saying to Rush and Blue earlier that these new emotes I can use on stickers too, and I make my own stickers. So I could very easily just make little emote stickers now. The only problem is the quality of the art is usually not good enough to make um, something big. So they'd have to be pretty tiny. Um, that's the only thing is usually the art is like low, low. I don't want to say quality, but it's just like low, um, it's like on purpose, you know? Because it doesn't have to be resolution. That's the word I'm looking for. Resolution. <laughs> Stickers more! Oh, Dr. Bob, you weren't here when I talked about it. Um, yes, I have ribbons, and this year, along with the ribbon, I'm going to have people roll a d20. Let me get this paint on here really quickly, and I will grab the d20 to show you, because it's excessive. It is excessive. but it's gonna be fun. So, oh, I got a dog under my feet again. Hold on. So it isn't currently blown up all the way, but I have this gigantic D20 <laughs> that I'm gonna bring with me. And I'm gonna have people roll this gigantic d20. And whatever number you land on is going to have a sticker that you can get. So I have 20 different stickers and they're all the, like the most common slash popular D&D creatures. So, if you get a two, you get a cobalt sticker. And so hopefully I have enough, hopefully I've made enough stickers. Um, but I spent literally an entire day, like I had a, a Wednesday off like a couple weeks, like a month ago, two months ago. And I spent the entire day printing, uh, laminating, and then die cutting stickers for ReaperCon. So people are gonna be able to roll a die, then they'll get a sticker. Um, depending on what they roll. So like, let's see, another one. Here's an owl bear. So yeah, I'm excited. I think people are gonna enjoy it. So if people come up and ask me for a ribbon, they get to roll. And they can get it for a sticker for free. And now that I've learned how to do stickers really well, I can make stickers out of whatever the heck I want. <laughs> I would. 
I would want a monster plush made by it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into um, various patterns that already exist to make it a little bit easier for myself than rather than having to completely make a pattern, it, scratch pattern, because um, that would be really, that would be a lot. Can I roll my special d20 that is totally not weighted? Dr. Bob, any d20, it doesn't matter because there's no like special prize for, for getting a 20. I was thinking about potentially having like holographic versions of all the stickers and then I was just like, oh my god, that's so much more work. <laughs> I wish I was American so it'd be easier to go to ReaperCon. Yeah, I wish you could go. I think you would enjoy it. I just showed my 11-year-old the Sprite burp and she laughed so hard she farted. <laughs> yes, amazing. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I got both puppies in here with me right now. I think Cora's licking herself. Cora, stop licking. Valid reaction from your kid, right? <laughs> Oh, I wonder if I could do like a little illithid. Like a little crochet illithid. A Night Whisper, hello! Oh my gosh, that little high emo is so cute. Oh, it's Tea Cat emo. No wonder. Yeah, I keep thinking of other emotes that I can get since I have 110 freaking emote slots. But emotes are expensive and I I can't justify I can't I can't do I can't afford 110 emotes original emotes. Mushy the mind flubber. <laughs> Dr. Bob, you are way too good at doing like cute names for like chibi versions of things. That's you're you're too quick. You're too quick, sir. <laughs> no, do not slow down. Do not slow down. Your brain will do that on its own eventually. Be quick while you can. She's got some of my favorite emotes. Literally, the only reason that I applied to be an affiliate on Twitch was because I wanted my own emotes. <laughs> and now I'm like, there's too many slots. I can't afford them. <laughs> I can't afford that many. Too much. Too much. Oh, well, you can kind of see both doggies now. We had some some exercise before they they had dinner. So they're a little bit more worn out than normal. Because some days when I don't have a lot of meetings in the afternoon, I'll take them and we'll meet James on his way home from work. So that was today was one of those days. I didn't have a ton of meetings in the afternoon. So I was able to take 45 minutes and get them ready and walk them over to meet him and then we walked back i'm splitting watching the stream while hunting for one mini in my room of shame oh no one mini a singular mini <laughs> what mini is it that you're looking for 
I have organized my minis by like brand, but with Reaper, that doesn't really help. Freya, iconic witch. I wonder if I have that one. My, uh, my mouse isn't wanting to do its thing again. I warp. Like a paper, like a paper. Girl. I know that one was lame. Oh, I actually don't think I have that many. Half elf warlock. Yeah, I don't think I have that one. I think I even have multiples that I just started playing Adventurer Conqueror King with my regular gang and rolled up a witch. Mini is perfect. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Gotta put so much orange to get it to cover all the black underneath. That one. That looks like a barnacle on his butt. It's not my normal mini I want to paint, so I never have. Put it in a box of shame. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel like that happens with a lot of minis. They go into boxes of shame and then you never see them again. <laughs> Just like, you friend, you're gonna go over here. And she was never seen again.
Oh my gosh, there's so much. Like, I didn't even notice these ones right here. Do you pre-shop the list of vendors coming to ReapCon? I find it easier to look at what people have for sale and make a list so I don't waste time. Um, sometimes I will look at the vendors that are going to be there. But I don't like pre-shop necessarily. Oh, poor guy. He's got a gouty knee. <laughs> right. I'm going to get this dog right here sleeping yeah and the funny thing is he's only got he's only got two knees one of them is filled with gout I find going into the vendor hall a little bit difficult most, most of the time. <laughs> and the reason why is because there are a few folks that I'm like friends with in the vendor hall. And I always just want to stop and talk to them. There's like three booths. Always. That I just, I get like stuck at them. Because I'm just, like, talking to the people running the booths because, like, they're friends or acquaintances or whatever. So that makes it hard to, <laughs> to, to actually get through. And it, it's not as, as much as it has been in the past years because I'm not as much of, like, a personality at Reaper anymore as I have been. Um, like, the first couple of years that I went, I think I was, you know, significantly more of a, a personality, like... Obviously, my hair, you can't really see it, but my hair is no longer, like, crazy teal, so I'm not, you know, the easiest person to find in a crowd anymore and stuff, and I haven't been as active um, in the painting scene and stuff in general, um, so I don't get stopped as much, but when I used to go through those vendor halls, I would get stopped every, like, two steps. Like, I would be talking to somebody, and then the conversation would eventually wrap up. I would take a step, and then somebody else would stop me. <laughs> so, like I said, that doesn't happen um, necessarily anymore. So it makes it a little bit easier to go into the vendor halls. But at the same time, um, there's not as much that I want to buy. Because I'm like, I have so many minis. I have so much paint. Like, I need to, like, hold myself back from buying stuff. Just because, you know, I, I have, I have so much stuff. So, yeah. Just because you're harder to find. I mean, it's not, it's not just because I'm harder to find. It's because, like, I haven't been as active and stuff. So, it's not like I'm not upset about it or anything. It's just kind of like the reality. Um, because I haven't been very prominent in the community in general the last year or so and it's 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 okay it's not a bad thing but yeah i am harder to find though for sure without my teal hair sticking out like a sore thumb in the middle of a room i keep thinking if i want to redye it or not and i still haven't decided <laughs> And you're better at successfully hiding in classes every hour on the hour. Hey, I only took like six classes last year, and I think I'm only taking five this year. So I'm I'm slowly opening up more and more time for myself at the general convention. Like last year, when I was at ReaperCon, I painted my mini that I turned in that almost won me a gold. Like I was sitting there painting it the whole time. I discovered that if I if I take my hat off, people can't find me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's that is part of the reason why I'm not taking a ton of classes this year, to be honest. It's like, hmm, I've taken almost every single one of these classes already. Uh 
and you know it's it's no fault to the instructors because like they're gonna teach what they're comfortable with but if there were um, a bigger variety of classes that i hadn't already taken i probably would have taken more and i think one of my classes is like bones mashup which i don't even know if you would call a class to be honest it's it's more just like a, an event because there's nobody teaching you how to do anything. It's it's literally you go in, you get a bunch of parts, you mash them together, and then you're done. It's fun, not discounting the fun of it, but I wouldn't consider it a class per se. I don't know what color these things are. I don't know what these things are. Can y'all see that? What is this? What color is this thing supposed to be? I'm not 100% certain what it is, so I feel weird trying to figure out what color to make it. If anyone has any specific kinds of potions that you would want to see, let me know. Because I could, I could very easily, obvi I mean obviously, change the color of this part of the red. It can be any color I want. The uh, silver, I'll probably keep silver because I feel like it makes sense. I might need to find a different kind of yarn for the silver, though, because this one, it's smaller, so sometimes you can kind of, like, see through it a little bit, like you can see the, the color underneath there. So I need to figure out how to stop that from happening. But that's just a prototype, so. I can't tell what it is. There's always something on a mini that's like, what is that? Yeah, exactly. I, I could not agree with you more. I know it's some kind of, like, coral thing i just don't know what because i'm not a marine biologist so i don't know all the different stuff that exists out there also if people have specific emotes that you think i should get made let me know because again I think I have like 90 more slots that I could fill. And my artist, I'm sure, would love more work to do. Because that means more money for him. <laughs> Good night, Varl. Thank you for hanging out. Have a lovely sleep. Unless it's a sponge or seaweed. It's like a weird, it's like a weird thing. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm not terribly concerned about it. Because I could literally probably just color it whatever color I want, you know? I just don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. And maybe I can just look and find it what the heck it might be if I just look through all these corals. I mean, this one, this coral is like orange and purple. Is it an anemone? Maybe it's an anemone? Never make an anemone an enemy. I'm fairly certain 
That is from a very old game. An old computer game. I don't even know which one it's from, but... If you can't figure out what it is, anyone looking at the model probably wouldn't either. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, it could be an anemone. I haven't done many reds. I've done like one red thing right there. So maybe I could do it red. God, there's so much orange. Why did I do all these orange? Orange is a mistake. It's such a hard color to layer. It doesn't like to be opaque. It likes to be transparent. Red is the same way. I am taking some classes at ReaperCon. I don't remember exactly which ones. I know I'm taking a class that's like painting black and white. I'm taking a, a painting black and white class. Because I think I'm pretty good at painting white, but like I'm not really good at painting black. Orange, orange app, you didn't go with yellow. Hi, Big J. Good to see you. Is it Aaron Hartwell's class, the dreaded black and white? No, it's um, it's a different one. I think there's two. There's two different classes that are black and white. Um, let me look it up really quick. Let me check. <laughs> Where is my my calendar? How do you find your calendar from phone? My schedule. I am taking Bones Mashup Thursday morning, painting textures with Olds, Horns and Claws Friday morning, Uh, I'm doing an Adventures Cat one-shot, and then Tricky Colors Black and White with Diamond Stone. I have the Thursday Morning Bones mashup. I think that's the first Bones mashup class. Because that's when all the good pieces are still there. <laughs> the earlier you get in, the better pieces you have. <laughs> so I tried to get the earliest one. But yeah, I mean, how many classes? One, two, three. That's only four classes. And technically, Bones Mashup is a class. But, so I'm technically only taking three classes this year. Y'all, what am I doing with myself? What am I going to do the whole rest of the time? I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to make um, Ty take me to get some Texas BBQ. 
blood on the clock tower. Um, hijinks. Yeah, I could probably do some hijinks. Hijinks. I've never really sat and done the hijinks. Do you have to get um, tickets for hijinks? Or can you just go and sit? Ty did sign me up for a juggling class, <laughs> which I like low key taught myself how to juggle 15 years ago, very minimally. I don't really know how to juggle. But not tickets, but reserved spots. There are usually spots left over, but it's standby. Oh, okay. I'll have to look after my stream and see what's up. See what's up. This guy is like, he sat in one spot for a really, really long time and stuff just started growing on him like crazy. I went to a college to learn how to juggle. I thought it would be a clever way to impress girls. I was unfortunately incorrect. You were just trying to impress the wrong girls. That's all. You just needed the nerdy ones. The nerdy ones. Uh. This is obviously a single male crab, a couch crab even. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. He feels very called out. Okay, now that you've said that. How rude. He's doing his best, okay? Couch, couch crab don't care. <laughs> couch crab gives no cares. Like how my, my thumb is like such pretty colors. <laughs> Thanks, crab. I remember a really, really long time ago when I was using army painter paints and I used to use my thumb for a palette like I'm still doing now. Um, it used to stain, army painter paints would stain my thumb and I would scrub and it, would, it wouldn't come off right away. And I remember one time I was in Sabat's channel I don't know if any of you know who that is, but he was one of the first streamers that I used to watch. And I asked, hey, Sabat, how do you wash, how do you wash the paint off your hands when you're done? Not realizing that like everybody's paint stained, it was just army painter paint, it was just my paint. And he literally was so nice and he was like, just, just like wash your hands. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
No worries, Painting Critics. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. It puts the soap on. Yeah, literally, just like, wash your hands, bro. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> I didn't, like, clarify that the paint was, like, staining. I was just like, how do you get the paint off of your- off of your hands? Because I noticed he was doing the same thing, like, he had a bunch of paint. It's just very funny. Lethal Shadows Gaming! Thank you for the raid! See, we're gonna have a- we're gonna have a defend emote, uh, uh, an official defend emote soon. Like, you should be doing after you the rest of your two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I didn't clarify. It was staining my fingers, not just paint on my hand. <laughs> I wonder if he remembers that. I doubt he does. I seriously doubt he, he remembers me asking him that question. But I do, because that's the kind of person that I am. I embarrass myself slightly, I will remember it forever. <laughs> Hi, Agu! Lethal Shadows! I don't have a, um... I don't have a, a shout out thing anymore does it just work though do shout outs just work if you like type exclamation point so or is there a different way to shout people out on twitch now i literally don't know because it's been so dang long but my commands are all broken so i don't have a shout out command but if you're not following lethal shadows please go give lethal shadows a, a follow do you think it is so I wonder if anybody can use it or if it's just mods. My keyboard is like not very well accessible. I'll have to figure that out later, I think. No, it didn't work. Oh, I think you leave out the at symbol, actually. I think you don't you don't have to put you shouldn't need to put the at, I think. Just uh, exclamation point SO and then space and then. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, I'll have to figure. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out too. I have no idea how shoutouts work anymore if you don't have like a command set up to automatically fix the, the channel name or whatever. Either way, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. I hope you are well. Same, I haven't streamed in years. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. And I was saying this to everyone before, but everything related to my stream got wiped, including all my commands. So all my commands are gone. And I just, the, the commands thing uh, is something I haven't actually like taken the time to set back up again. Brain, can't remember best friend's names, where you left your car keys, what time your dentist appointment is, but remembers every single awkward thing you ever did, thought of, or imagined happened. Thanks, brain. Yep. That, yep. That is also my brain. The SO command has to be set up in your chat bot, but I think there's a way to do it from your own chat. I know I used to have, um... I used to have it in the chatbot, but it was a command and all my commands got killed, got murdered when my, when I got my new computer. Is it slash shout out? I'll have to move all my stuff to make it easier for me to access my keyboard. 
so that I can actually type stuff. Why am I doing this one orange too? I have to move all my goblins. I tried it and nothing showed up. <laughs> Murdered, yeah. I have to move all these gobs, all my goblins out of the way. Where can I put you? Put you in there. My desk is filled with goblins. Desk goblins! It's you and mods only. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let me see. Let me have my mouse, please. Shout out. Oh, you do, you can do it that way. There we go, okay. It is just slash shout out. I didn't realize there were a bunch of slash commands. <gasps> I can I can pin a message at the top of my chat. Let's see what else is there. Announce blue, announce green. There's a bunch of announce messages. Clear history. In chat, delete poll, emote only chat, end poll. Goal, you can set up and manage goals. Goal. I don't know, I don't want to do that right now. I can mod people, set up a poll, set up a prediction, raid, restrict, shield. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard Appa groan, but he just stretched and groaned so loud. There's a butt. Appa wants to show you his butt. <laughs> um, Twitch is based in MIRC, so there's usually a command line version of everything. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like they're cutting out Streamlabs. Yeah, maybe. Streamlabs chatbot. I dropped a goblin over there on the floor. Appa's looking at it. <laughs> He's not actually looking at it. He's just laying there. It rolled. It rolled away so far. Get on my side. Take the goblin. Goblin. You just puppy butt. <laughs> He's like, why are you talking about me, ma'am? I know you're talking about me, ma'am. Oh, no, no freaking out. Oh my God. There they go. Somebody's outside getting into their car. The puppies don't like it when people get into their cars. Can I have Bobbin? <laughs> We just went through all their toys yesterday and threw away like dozens of toys. Dozens of toys that were destroyed a long time ago and they were just carcasses. They were just empty shells. 
that's how you know that you spoil your dogs when there's so many toys and you have no idea which ones still have squeakers or or crinklies in them because there's just so many to go through. My doggies are spoiled. They're trophies, yes, exactly. A lot, a lot of trophies. So many trophies. I wish I could bring the doggies to ReaperCon. Sounds like the correct amount of spoilage. Gave a lot of dog toys to a friend and she just got a dog along with treats and such and some winter coats. Yeah. They deserve it though. They deserve to be absolutely spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Especially Appa because you know, he's had so many health issues. But he's good. He's doing pretty well. He's just getting old is the only thing. It's crazy, but both of my pups are going to be 10 years old soon. Cora's going to be 10 next month, and then Appa's going to be 10 in November. They're both going to be 10 in a few months. Old babies. Bro, I hear you licking. Can you not? <laughs> I cannot stand it. I don't know if that sound drives anybody else crazy, but the sound of your dog licking itself is like, makes me want to rip my ears off. Drives me crazy. <laughs> terrible sound especially when you're like like this close to being asleep just this close to falling asleep and then you just randomly hear your dog start licking and it's like <laughs> drives you crazy at least drives me crazy your corgi is gonna be 11 Twinsies. How mobile is yours? Is yours still pretty mobile? I feel like I've gotten very lucky and, and both of mine are still fairly mobile. Even with Appa and like his crazy health issues. He's still a he's still a pretty a pretty mobile guy. And Cora, I mean, she's older. She's like a puppy still. She literally just she don't stop. She gets so excited sometimes to chase toys that she'll literally run into the wall. Like, it's like, girl, you gotta stop it. <laughs> I don't know if the, who was in here the last stream, but she had literally had a tooth fall out. Like, no joke, here's her tooth. <laughs> One of her teeth just straight fell out of her mouth. It's the smacking my dog does when she's winding down to sleep. Oh, like just lick, smacking her lips together. She's still very active, or he's still very active. That's good. Appa has started getting a little bit slower. Like, he'll stretch really, really, really big in the morning. Or when he's like done napping 
and he will groan so loud. He'll just be like, <sighs> when he's stretching. And he never really used to do that. He never, he never used to like get up slowly, but now when he starts to get up, he gets up like slowly. So I can kind of like see the aging effect that his chemo medicine is having on him. And it makes me sad, but at the same time, I'm like, you're going to be 10 years old. Like you're going to get slower regardless. was just doing something so we kept our we kept a toy our last dog really loves and put our first dog's choke chain with it all <laughs> hey i do that too <laughs> last dog toy oh yeah i mean that's the way to do it i started um collecting this is gonna sound so weird but i don't care uh, I started, like, as I'm brushing them out, because corgis, if you aren't aware, shed, like, freaking crazy all the time. Um, but I started, as I'm brushing them, I've started keeping, a, like, a small collection of their fur, and I want to brush it out, like, wash it, brush it out, and turn it into yarn so that I can, like, make something out of it so that I will forever have pieces of them when they're gone, because they're both ten. <laughs> Not to make a new dog toy with, just to make something. I don't know what I would make yet. But their undercoat is very, very soft. It's like a rabbit. Their fur is very, very soft. So, maybe just like a bracelet, or like a necklace or something. Not anything particularly large. Yeah, I do have a tooth, that's true. <laughs> She would take it upstairs at night and bring it to bed. Aww. Yeah, my dogs don't do that with toys. They just rip them apart. They're not, like, gentle in any way, shape, or form with their toys. They're very, uh... If there's something in a toy, they want it out of the toy. They they want the squeakers. They want the, the fluff. They want the, um... Yeah, they want the stuff out. So they rip them apart for the most part. There's like one toy that Opera really likes. It's a it's a chicken. And it has a squeaker in it that like sounds like a chicken. And he goes crazy for that toy. I have to keep it away from Cora because if I don't keep it away from Cora, she will rip the squeaker out. So that one is his like it's his toy and she knows that she's not supposed to touch it. Um because she likes, she is the, she is the destructor. She will rip apart every toy. He will sometimes keep toys intact. But she is the destructive one that wants to kill all the toys. I think the air conditioner just turned on. Yes, I get a bark box every month, and it comes with two toys and two like bags of treats, which is perfect. The traveler has arrived. The form of the destroyer has been chosen. The toy we kept was a pig that has an even lower squeak that she loved. Oh yeah, see the the chicken has, like, a squeaker in it that sounds different than, like, every other toy in the house. And it sounds like a chicken. Maybe that's why it's his favorite. Because it sounds different. Hey! Stop licking. I think he might have a hot spot. Come here. Come here. Come here. You gotta come and lay down. Come lay down. Skarner has coral. Yes, look at them all. All the corals. Corals. You have a hot spot, bud? Do I need to put some of that foam stuff on you? He has some weird stuff with his back, so I think he's... Because I've been trying to treat that, I think I might have caused more of a problem. 
because he's had many baths over the last couple weeks. And when they, their skin is wet for too long, they can grow bacteria, which gives them hot spots, which is not good. I have a green gator from Target that my dog, ha dog has tried unsuccessfully to destroy for years. Best toy ever, BarkBox toys were so good that we had to stop it. Too many toys. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I really liked BarkBox and I had one for a really long time. And then I ran into that same problem, which was like, there's too many toys. Like, they're not going through them fast enough. And then... You know, we stopped getting toys from, like, PetSmart and stuff. Petco, whatever. And so we kind of ran out of toys, and I was like, you know what, I'll just get the Bark Box again. And that's why we did a toy purge the other day. Because there was too many. Our vet has a cremation option, so she resides next to our past dog and cat we had to put down for it. Yeah, I have, um... I have two of those as well. That is the, my two kitties that passed away in the last year. Those are their boxes and their little paw things. Very sad, but they were good cats and they were both over 10 years old. I, I had them for since, you know, for longer than the dogs. So it would have been 11. They would have been at least 11 because I have no idea how old they were when I adopted them. We have an extra bed that we used for our dog toy box. They don't knock them off the shelves from beyond. Thankfully, no. Uh, I definitely don't want ghost cats. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I loved my kitties, but they can stay beyond the grave. Uh, I don't want any ghosts in my house. That's spooky. That's too spooky for me. I'm not into the spookies. Bro, I can hear you licking underneath my seat. Now he's panting. He's trying to he's trying to mask what he's doing <laughs> with other sounds. <laughs> I have a cat that's 14, the other two like to play with each other, the older one wants nothing to do with them. <laughs> yeah, my cats were both... Well, Luna was probably like 15 or 16 years old, and her entire life she had a really slow-growing cancer inside of her nose. Not on her nose, it was inside of her nose. Um had it biopsied multiple times over her life, tried a bunch of different medicines to to stop it. They didn't think it they didn't think it was cancer though. Um in the multiple vets that I went, I even took her to a dermatologist to try to figure out what was going on with her nose. And none of the vets could really tell me. So we kind of just let her chill. Um cuz there was not really much to do outside of horse feeder medicine that she didn't want, she didn't like, and that wasn't helping anyway. So we kind of just left her alone after five years of trying to figure out what was going on. Um, and she eventually, her nose got so bad that she was, oh, this is so sad. I don't even want to talk, say it too much. She, it affected her too much. I won't say exactly, but it affected her so much that we had to end up putting her down. Um, and then my other cat, like four months later, uh, got stage four liver failure or kidney failure. It was one, I don't remember if it was liver or kidney, but either way, had to put her down too because she was at stage four failure of important organ. But yeah, I lost both my cats in the last year, which really sucks. 
chocolate run and loose for Lucy for short. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, and then freaking Appa going through all of his health stuff, too. TLDR there is he got poisoned. The medicine to make sure that he didn't die from the poison gave him a blood condition. Uh, medicine to treat the blood condition gave him cancer. <laughs> That's the the very short TLDR of the stuff that happened with him over the last year. But it was just over a year ago that he got poisoned. <laughs> Which is also part of the reason why I wasn't streaming a lot. Because, uh, my pets going through all these health things was very emotionally draining for me. And I just kind of didn't want to sit in front of a computer when I was constantly scared that my... I was going to have to rush one of my pets to the emergency vet. It sucked. But the kitties are gone now. And Appa is like in stable condi stable-ish condition. I just have to keep a close eye on him all the time. Make sure he doesn't have fever. Make sure he doesn't get infections. Which is why I have to yell at him for licking himself. Because he can't, he can't get an infection. It's very bad to get an infection when you're on chemo, apparently. And he will be on chemo for the rest of his life. Ren, if I was a boy. Ren, if I, if it was a girl. Oh, that's cute. All right, I think most of this is done. Just these weird thingies that I still don't know what the heck they're supposed to be. Um, maybe I will make them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what color I'm gonna make them. I did want to base this guy. Oh my god, we've been live for over two hours again? You guys are keeping me talking, which means you're keeping me streaming. This is amazing. I never used to have this level of stamina <coughs> when I was streaming. I think I just miss talking. Talking to you guys. I used to take some chemo peel post-stroke. They ended up giving me a UTI after about a year, so I had to stop taking them. Yeah, Appa was taking um, steroids for a really long time. He was taking prednisone, and the pre prednisone was giving him UTIs. He wasn't supposed to be on prednisone forever, though. It was just supposed to be um, a high dosage of prednisone for a few months and then slowly weaning him off of it so that his body would stop attacking himself that's what was happening his body was attacking his red blood platelets which you need red blood platelets to keep yourself from just randomly bleeding out um so we had to do a uh slow taper off of those okay oh, cool. I am a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Oi. I can throw my mini across the room. Don't throw your minis, folks. I have this like lighter pink color that I didn't use. Maybe I'll do them pink. Pink is another one of those colors that's really hard to get to show up though. <laughs> We're gonna have to do so many layers of this. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Oh my God, that scared me. Woo! Brigby! Hello, my love! 
Your subs scurred me. Because it's loud. 22 months. <laughs> He's currently streaming, I think, at the same time. All right, well, while that is drying, do I have grays? I need to get some grays for the rocks on this base. I think this dungeon gray is gone, actually. It's okay, because I have another one. I have a backup. I don't, I don't think there's anything in this. Did I actually use an entire thing of paint? Wow, I think... I think I might have. Cathmore! Hi, Cathmore! Did, uh, did Brigby send you over? <laughs> We're painting a crab. A giant crab. Here he is. He's almost, he's almost done. There's a few little bits and bobs that are still being painted, but... Ah, uh, y'all were lurking. I think I have a little bit more of this dungeon gray, but... I actually have used a, a full pot of paint, you guys. And of course it's gray. <laughs> wow! I did it! It's alright, we got another one. I'm pretty sure I bought this at last ReaperCon. Actually, <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, I'm going to need a big brush for this because the base is large. Let's get this brush. while we wait for that pink to dry, because it's going to take 500 years to dry. It used to be that you could crack open a bottle and pull the metal skull Reaper had. Yeah, I don't think I had any paints reaper paints old enough that had those i knew that they existed but i don't think i have any reaper paints that are that old mobrock all right no problem you have a great night thank you for coming and hanging out appa decided to go and lay down again what no one touched you no one did nothing why are you looking at me Just lay down, bud. Lay down. You're fine. No one did nothing to you. He's such a cute boy. So like, why are you talking about me? Why are you talking about me? Meow. Meow. Hello, my boy. My boy. Really want that poker you use? I have so many of them. I have literally, this is the one that I use all the time, but I have literally a drawer full of them. Here's one, it's a pumpkin. Here's a dragon. Here's the pirate one. I 
think that's I think that's all the ones that I had in the drawer. But yeah, they are they are good. They help a lot. All right, I had to put some more primer in with this paint. <laughs> I just heard him groan as he was stretching. I had to put primer in with the paint because this base is still being a little hydrophobic. And a pinch of tea pin works great. Yeah, essentially all they are are tea pins <laughs> with uh, some fun bits on the end of them. All right, now that's got to dry. It's going to take a while to dry. As you can tell, it's very wet on there. And this pink is still drying. But that's okay, because it's soaked into the crevices. And I was going to use a lighter pink anyway on the tops. I might add some white just to I have a white over here. This is what happens when you have too much stuff. This is white. Yes. Yeah, essentially they're just T-pins with like an a, an extra metal bit. So, it should work. That dog is leaving. I might have to go look at him. If he does actually have a hot spot, I'm going to have to clean it. he was chewing the heck out of himself the other day. And I had to yell at him to make him stop. Hot spot. Man, I really wanted to finish this crab tonight, but this might be a a basing stream next stream. Might have to base them, base them next stream, which would be fine, honestly. All I have to do is take a tea pin, take a blob of green stuff about the size of half a pea, let that harden, add more green stuff to sculpt what you want. Yeah, there's a whole class at ReaperCon for it, huh? Is that what they do? Is that what they give you? I never did that one. Oh, that base is still drying. Just noticed there's a big spot under here that I missed. Let's get some white. 
No painting. Yeah, it's some of the classes at ReaperCon aren't painting. There's like sculpting classes and you put an old gift card to form a palette and it's easy. It was a great class. And if you got to work with Guthrie and Rhoda, yeah. Um, I know there's a bunch of people who took those classes to work with them. I got to do his, um, was it his class? Oh, shoot. I think it was um just it was a uh, basing class it was like doing a scenic base or whatever it was called we'll just get some of this white down right now and it's okay that it looks messy because we're gonna get we're gonna put more down obviously Rodolfi yeah 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 I'm pretty sure I got into one of his classes last year that was like highly sought after I think maybe they only do a couple of classes um and people were super jealous because he sculpted like a mini specifically for that class and I have it <laughs> Because I took the class. It was just like a ghoul. It wasn't anything crazy, but still. <laughs> People love Bob Rodolfi's minis. All right. Jelly. Yeah, because they're not like sold anywhere. It was just like a little ghoul. It was just a little ghoulie. Ghoulie ghoul. All right, we we did it. We almost we streamed for two and a half hours. I assume it was a a pre sign up class. Yes, um, all of the classes at ReaperCon you can buy ahead of time, and they're usually like twenty five to forty dollars depending on the class. But this dude is like a very uh, famous sculptor in the miniature painting or the miniature figures hobby so his class was very very highly sought because he's like you know he's famous he's a legend so people want to take that class that class is one of the first classes to sell out i, di I didn't get the class that he's teaching uh for this time um, which is okay, because I took it last time. I should let other people take it. I shouldn't be greedy. Been sculpting longer than I've been alive. Yeah, yeah. Because Dr. Bob is an old man, so that is definitely saying something. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to stop with our, our crab here. Um, next stream, we'll get the base done, and we'll get any last like highlights on this. Um, I do want to try to do something with water on the base, so we'll see if we can figure out how to do that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's okay, I'm an old woman. We can be old. It's okay for us to be old. Being, being old is, means that we have a lot of experience and wisdom in life, okay? <laughs> it's okay. We can be old. Oh my god. I used so many paints. Look at all these paints that I used for this crab. <laughs> we get to yell at kids! Exactly. Hags, have a great summer. <laughs> all right, well, thank you again, folks, for hanging out. Let's find somebody to raid. Let me move all these paints out of the way again. Let's find somebody to raid. Raid. It's so funny because every time I open up, every time I open up the quick filters for the raid, it always is like, there we go. It doesn't give me the following filter, so it's like hard for me to actually see who I'm following that's streaming. Is there nobody else painting right now? 
Nobody else is painting. Um, let's see if we can find somebody that is not, that I'm not following, I guess. Like how the dogs both just came back in here. Goers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, um, no. Art. Oh, here we go. Painting. Oh, well, everyone's painting. Nobody else is painting. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to end it again because I don't have any followers that are painting right now. So, thank you again for hanging out. Hope you're all staying happy and healthy. And I'll be back hopefully on Friday with more crab basing. How about drink your paint water? No. Oh, drink your paint water? He must not have... Hold on. He must not have, oh my God, I can't, let me see. That person is not online right now. The person with that username is not live and only has one follower. Are you sure that's the right name? Oh, drink your paint water live. Let's try that instead. Okay, sure, we can raid. Let's raid that person. I don't know who they are. They've been streaming for two hours, but maybe they'll keep going. All right, well, we'll raid, we'll raid them. There we go, okay. Raid created. Thank you again, everybody, uh, for hanging out. Like I said, I'll be back on Friday. Uh, we'll paint the crab base, and maybe we'll do some crochet stuff if I get my yarn in. So we'll see. But yeah, thank you again for hanging out. S hope you're staying happy and healthy, and we will see you next time. Bye!